There are few things in gaming as satisfying as that ping you upon finally conquering everything a game has to offer and earning the coveted platinum trophy, cementing proof of your determination and gaming prowess upon your profile for all to see. Uh, then again, for those of us who aren't capable of the level of dedication that most platinum trophies require, there's always a selection of more accommodating trophy lists that require less effort but can still make you look like a trophy hunting icon. For this list, we're avoiding games such as My Name is Mayo, which are designed entirely to dish out easy trophies. After all, we are trying to retain some level of dignity here. Batman The Telltale Series Although the Cape Crusaders adventure opens our list, we could just as easily have chosen almost anything from the Telltale Games PS4 catalogue, and these games largely have trophy lists that ask only one thing in order to unlock the Platinum. Just finish the game. Yep, each trophy will unlock as you progress through the game's story, so none are missable as long as you make it through to the final credits. As these games only require you to make choices and complete some quick time events to move the story along, obtaining the Platinum Trophy is a complete breeze making Telltale Games offerings the perfect way to bulk up your trophy collection with very little effort. Life is Strange Don't Nod Entertainment's cult classic Just About Edges Out the Dark Knight on this countdown, with a trophy list that, while not difficult, does give an illusion of respectability. All trophies in Life is Strange are awarded for one of two actions, progressing through the game's story and taking optional photographs. There are 10 photo opportunities in each of the game's episodes, with most being quite easy to spot, but some which could require you to replay some sections to snap any missed the first time around. Similarly to the previous entry, we could just as easily have chosen spin off Life is Strange Before the Storm for this spot, as the trophy list follows a similar structure, so if you're looking to bulk up your trophy collection, go nuts and get both. Undertale do you ever read a trophy list and wonder if the developers are just having a laugh? Undertale is a perfect example of this. Most of the trophies are story related and the others are used as little jokes when achieving simple feats such as the trophy of picking up one item entitled Don't worry, I have lots of ideas for trophies and one for picking up four items entitled Help me, I'm out of ideas. The only trophy that may be off-putting are the ones that involve donating money to the dog shrine. The last of these requires you to donate 350 gold to the shrine, which seems simple enough except for the fact that you can only donate one gold at a time, which makes these trophies an exercise in perseverance as you sit there rhythmically pressing X in front of the shrine for an hour. So while the Platinum may not be a difficult get in Undertale, it is a testament to the player's patience. WWE Legends of WrestleMania The PS3's WWE Legends of WrestleMania offered bone crunching fantasy fulfillment to both wrestling fans and trophy hunters, as a game which sees WWE superstars past and present clash in zany arcade style bouts with a trophy list that focused more on just playing the game's various modes rather than being particularly skillful or persistent. With only 20 trophies to unlock throughout the game, anyone who enjoys the game enough to dedicate a few days to it can burn through this paltry trophy list and mark their status as King of the Ring without breaking a sweat. Infamous First Light as one of the more respectable Platinum Trophies on this list, Infamous First Light is a game that does require some proficiency with the game's combat in order to nab all of its rewards. Many of the trophies reward gathering all collectibles and completing side missions, but this is fairly easy as the open world is relatively small and everything you need to find is clearly marked on the map. The challenge, however, comes in the game's survival challenges, which sees the protagonist fetch, face off with wave after wave of enemies, and try to smash the target score. While these challenges may take a few attempts to master, they are manageable and will reward you with a fairly easy platinum trophy that you can still be proud of. Spider-Man This is truly a red letter day for Marvel. With countless accolades garnered over the years, Spider-Man has now received his greatest honour to date, ranking above Batman on this list of easy but respectable trophies. Yep, Spidey swings into the number 2 spot in 2018's terrific sandbox adventure a game that used trophies excellently, adding additional value and playability by encouraging players to make the most of the game's collectibles and challenges without putting anything out of reach. Much like Infamous First Light, this title's trophy list centres on completing the main story, gathering all clearly marked collectibles, a few challenge levels and generally soaring through the city beating up meanies. 
What separates this from the previous entry is its status as a major release rather than a standalone expansion, meaning the open world is bigger, there's more to do, and so the completed trophy list looks all the more impressive for it. Nier Automata As with most AAA open world epics, Nier Automata's trophy list is a beast that asks players to dedicate time, skill and energy into finding and mastering everything the game has to offer, including side quests, archives and weapons, as well as upgrading all weapons to the maximum level and, oh yeah, doing all 26 of the game's possible endings. However, this game offers players a leg up, one that is largely unknown or at least not widely remembered by those who haven't played it, the ability to buy trophies with in-game currency. The series' complete disregard for the fourth wall is on full display after you finish the main story and return to camp, at which time the option to purchase any trophies that you like becomes available. As long as you've enjoyed the game, and you will, it's amazing, and have spent a good amount of time slicing through opposition and collecting the currency left behind, then this trophy is yours for the taking whenever you see fit, leaving you with a glistening platinum atop an impressive trophy list that tells the perhaps not entirely accurate story of what a dedicated trophy hunter you are. That's it for our list, let us know in the comments if you agree, or whether you can think of any other easy but still respectable platinum trophies that you can share with your fellow trophy hunters.